Well, hello everybody. We're back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Phrase TMS. So, if you wanted to learn how to use this fantastic piece of software, you've come to the right place. So, this was previously known as Memsource, and it's very much the same apart from the updated Phrase logo. We're going to open our project and have a little click here, which is going to be from French to English from today. The first thing that you'll need to do is accept the job by clicking Accept. Accept. Boom. Honestly, I think this is quite a nice cat editor because it's pretty easy to use. There aren't too many features, which has its downsides, but it's simple and that's good. Okay, so we're just going to start by typing in our first translation here for Histoire as history. You can then click um, Control and Return just to accept that. So the next one is going to be the birth of tennis. We're also going to accept that by hitting Control and Enter. And now for this part, we actually have some tags to deal with. Now what tags do is that they preserve important information. In this case, it's probably formatting. Something like italic should be here. Maybe it's a hyperlink. There are two ways to do this. One is that we could just copy our original text here by clicking this button, and then I can write over it. The other option, which I'll show you, is that we can just start typing as we normally would. So let's say, Tennis is an English adaption of, now we need a tag here. So I'm going to hit the tag button, which is right here. My tag will pop up. I need a tag to close and I'm going to hit here. Boom, there you go. It's amazing. Now we're all done here. One of the things that you probably want to do is run a job QA just to check if there are any issues. Let's have a look here. We'll run the QA. No results, actually. That's surprising. You can also run a spell check. F7 um, is also there as an option. So that's something that you might want to do. All of the other parts, honestly, are pretty self-explanatory in terms of, you know, you've got the standard Word-esque features of subscript, bold, etc. We're now going to want to go to complete, which we'll tap here. Boom. We'll complete the job. And that will then be sent off to your language service provider or your agency which is great news. Honestly, I don't think that you have too many issues using this, um, as it's one of those wonderful online tools. There's no downloads, etc. needed. If you do have issues, you can always talk to your agency, um, and I'm sure they'll help you out. So I hope this has been really helpful for you, and if you'd like new and more great tutorials like this, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.